you to prepare your minds and hearts to receive this great man of God, our pastor, our leader, that's forever on our side. We thank God for him. Please receive Superintendent William E. Fry. Father, we thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your loving kindness, how you have watched over us and you have kept us until this hour. Now, God, help me for the next few minutes that I might be able to say something of value to these, your people. I need to say it, if it comes from you, yes. they need to hear it, yes, Lord. it comes from you. Yes. Build us up where we're broken down, yes. strengthen us where we're weak, yes. enlighten us where darkness has invaded yes. us, yes. heal us where we are sick. Strengthen us where we have gotten weak. Put joy in that vacant spot. We don't know why we feel like that. We need, we need your help. Without you, we can do nothing. So God, for these next few minutes, help me do that. That's totally necessary for our survival in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Certainly I'm happy to be here with you. It's five minutes to one. Amen. I had purposed in my heart. I want to give honor and respect to the pulpit, deacon board to the missionaries. Amen. All of the Choir people of God, young and old, yes. want to thank you all for your support. Amen. I uh, certainly, uh, I told, I said earlier, I feel some kind of way. Amen. I thought I had it all there. It's, it sometimes comes to you uh, when you. Uh, stand where I stand. Uh, you get look at somebody and say, "I'm say he human too." People seem to forget that the leader is human too. Actually, I'm just like you all. I just have a call on my life from. Uh, Psalms 121, 1 and 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Look at someone if you don't mind, even though you're sitting, and say, my help comes from God. Amen. My help. Comes from God. I think I have a mathematician sitting over there, brother. I always and accepted it. Which college is it? UCCS, one of the highest rated schools, one of the highest rated schools in the United States of America. When you get accepted to that school. They are you are they know you're capable of better, greater things. Look at somebody, they know you're capable. Your attitude will take you a long way. Or it will stop you from going. My grandma used to say, Sister Hightower. Learn some sense. And they taught me that good manners 
will take you further than all of what all that other stuff you think you got. You may know more than me, but you still owe me a yes, sir. You owe me that. You owe women respect. Doesn't matter how long my car is. Y'all are about to drive in a 2019, 2020, whatever it is, red Cadillac. Beautiful. He earned it. But that don't make him have the big head. Because he, he understand. Amen. Amen. The more you, the smarter you think you are, the more responsibility you have. Sergeant Major is here. He's a leader of men for 20 some odd years and evidently climbed to the highest rank that an enlisted man can get right. in the service. Right. I believe it, right? You can't go any higher in the enlisted ranks than Sergeant Major. And he seems to be one of the most humblest men I've ever, I've ever met. Amen. When you know you got it, you don't have to, you, you know you got it, you got it. Yes, <laughs> you ain't got to prove how tough you are when you're really tough. Yes. You really tough? You ain't got to prove it. I tell you, I'm I'm feeling some kind of way today. Y'all Osborne is very sick. A young friend, brother, minister, pastor, Anthony Bradford is deceased. His young wife and his three kid children are, I know they're languishing in what are we going to do even though they are very well off. But with their father at this young age, and their life is just getting into the area where they're supposed to enjoy each other, he is gone. Pastor Osborne got a nice home down in Pueblo, and he's able to do his carvings and work on his little artwork that he enjoys. And now, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that anymore. Yeah. You don't know, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. where your thing is going to be. Right. You don't know. I understand. I, I, I saw all the babies in a nice apartment. Went over and prayed. Amen. Four little children, mother and father, are together. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Don't be talking about no divorce, Amen. all that nonsense. Amen. Raise them kids. Yes. Didn't want to raise them, you shouldn't have got them. Amen. I ain't talking about him, I know. He loved his kids. The kids all over him. They love that children. I'm just talking about people. You got to, don't get into it, young man. Take your time. Amen. 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 Stay young as long as you can. And being young don't mean you do everything you want to do. Young ladies, Lord help me. Why am I going down this road? Don't let them young, tell them young men, they try to put their hands on you in the wrong place. Oh, no. Don't put your hands on my breasts. Don't touch me on my backside. Keep your hands off of me. And young men in the church should protect the girls. Treat them as if they were your sisters. Yes, sir. 
not your hoochie mama. <laughs> Ladies, any man want to treat you like that, they ain't care nothing about you. You ain't nothing but a piece of meat to them. Don't let them, don't let them defile you like that. Somebody, say my help. Comes from the Lord. And don't let if 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 you don't see see. I was born out of I was born out of what they call wedlock. I didn't know it until uh, a few months ago that my dad actually married my mother. And she wasn't but 13. I thought always that I was, because I always was told that uh, I was born out of wedlock. And on my birth certificate, my dad's name is not on there. I'm in my mother's maiden name, William Johnson. But I found out when they did a search that my dad married my mother. And he was 26, she was 13. But his mother and his father said, the girl is too young for him to be married to that girl. So they got him, the rest of the family, and they left from Wharton County and went down in the valley because they were migrant workers. And I was born by a midwife out in the country in a place called Burr, Texas. And they had never seen me. So I always thought, I never knew they were married. Mm -hmm. And so my dad went down in the valley and married my brother's mother. And I have her picture in my office, my stepmother, my mother. They almost, they, years later, they became friends. Mm -hmm. But it ain't where you was born, it's where you headed. Yes. But don't yourself in that position. Somebody ought to tell someone before they make the mistake. Don't wait until the mistake's been made. Oh, I could have. You, if you didn't say nothing then, don't say nothing now. Lord, help me. Young women got all this burden on them. They got to Take the kid, they gotta feed them. They gotta nurse them first. They gotta they gotta carry them nine months. And then they got to birth the child. Yeah. And then they got to pay the bill. They got to clean, they gotta provide the doctors, they got to provide the baby food, they gotta provide a place to stay, they got to they, the little kid one 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 in the arm, one in the stroller, and one in the in the papoose thing. And the man going on by his business thinking he thinking he's something. He ain't about nothing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Parents child support. It's a little sharp. Not sharpness in it. it. Maybe it's too much gain or something. You, you hear what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, pay it. You better pay it. Put them in jail. Jack the jail up and let it down on top of them. What kind of person is it? You can say, I'm going to stay away because she'll lose her welfare. It's your job. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't owe me. Yeah, well, they do owe you, but you got to, you got to, if they gave you something, you would, you wouldn't last no time. Because you're going to run spinning on nothing because you ain't learned enough sense to work and take care of nothing. The army, the war, is one of the best blessings ever happened to the black, to the, to the American Negro man. Because it taught him responsibility that he wouldn't 
learn at home. They told you when to get up. They told you when to run. They told you what to eat. They gave you time. It taught you discipline. And what we are lacking in our black community among the men is discipline. You try to tell them Negroes something, it's walking around with them showing they fault, they got something look, they, 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 it's down there. But it's really some another set of pajamas or underwear under there, but the pants is hanging there. The signal they really send them is that part of my body is available. They think they're being cool. You being a fool, you ain't being cool. <laughs> Ladies, if you see somebody like that, don't, don't let them in your life. You don't know what you're getting. You know, did you miss that one? You want a woman, but your pants is down there. I don't know what you want. This is a man's world. <laughs> but it would be nothing without a woman or a girl. <laughs> My help comes from the Lord. Everything else I do is grounded in my faith. Help me. Yes. Living in a society now, Mother Blackwell, the folk are li living and looking for a free lunch. Ain't nothing free. Somebody is paying for it. Oh, God, help us all. Every time the toilet flush, Somebody paying the water bill. Right. We're living in a society, though, geared toward getting stuff for free. Yeah. They ruined us with welfare. Yeah. Now we think we got to have it. Yeah. But let them take it away. Yeah. And you'll find a way. Yeah. Help me, Lord. We got used to sending money to foreign lands and receiving welfare checks. Mm -hmm. President Trump and his group are in trouble now for withholding money from the Ukraine. Foreign welfare. But if they're going to give welfare, they ought at least give it to us. We are citizens. And even though some of us didn't work, my great, 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 grandfather worked for free. They, 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 they put him and his woman, whoever she was, grandma, great, 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 great grandma, put her in a shack. Out there, down in the bottom, uh -huh. yes, sir. at the edge of the field, yeah. for 400 years, and they work for nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they do owe us. Yeah. And that's a fact. Yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't have no chance. We didn't have no chance to get no free land when they had the land grab in Oklahoma. We didn't have no chance when they opened up the Northwestern Territory because we were slaves and we weren't allowed to own anything. When they opened up the books, we were not allowed 
to learn how to read. Yeah. Somebody tell Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Well, Lord is good, ain't he? Yes, he is. They owe me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when my ancestors, Pastor Hastings, were in bondage, mm -hmm. if you study American history in the light of slavery, you will find out that uh, many insurrections happened. They, blacks tried to break out. But they got killed in the process and they were not able to come out on the way, but they tried. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they were not allowed to learn how to read and learn how to write and do those things that were necessary to function in the society that they were living in. But they made one mistake. In order to keep us under control as slaves and as indentured servants, they introduced us to the Bible. Yes, Come on, Pastor. Yes. They told us that God is love. Yes. Mm -hmm. They told us that can't nobody do you like Jesus. Yes. They told us that if you would call on him, yes, yes. he would answer. They told us that he was water in dry places. Yeah. 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 They told us he would be a battle axe. Yeah. Yeah. In the time of your battle, you got to understand what that meant to those that were in slavery. Yeah. Yeah. For they had no water that belonged to them. Yeah. They had no shelter. In the time of storm, yeah. they had no bread when everybody else was eating. Yeah. They had none of that. So when they told them Jesus would provide it, yes, we yeah. turned to him. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm getting ready to close. Come on, Pastor. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. So once we really found out that he really is real. Yes, sir. Down in the brush arbors of Georgia, North and South Carolina, Virginia, Mississippi, Texas, Alabama, when we found out that God really will visit you, we turned to Him and said, Father, we stretch. Our hands to thee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are unable to overcome the slave master. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. We can't deal with the bloodhounds, the whips, My God. And the bars. But Father, here we are. Yes, Lord. We just killed the pigs and slaughtered the cows. Come on, come on, come on. And they took the hounds. They took the pork chops. They took the briskets. They took the steaks. And they gave us the guts. They gave us the tripe out of the cow. They gave us the guts out of the pigs. They gave us the ears off the hog. They gave us his snoot. They gave us his hoofs. They said, y'all eat that. We said, Father, we belong to you. Help us, Jesus. And Jesus took the guts and gave us enough wisdom to turn them into chitlins. Took the tripe and we made it into a delicacy out of the cow. And all of a sudden, instead, took the greens of pork salad. Pork salad is greens that grow wild on the side of, on the, side of the road. And you, you don't, you can't get to, you, you, you planted the collard green, but they won't let you have them. They took them. So we went on the side of the hill and got some pork salad. Yeah. <laughs> took the pork salad. Yeah. And cooked the pork salad with the chitlins. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> cooked the snoots and barbecued them, them. Yeah. Took the 
feel of the pig and took the hog hoofs and boiled them and made hog hoof tea that will cure you from pneumonia. Took the feet of the chicken, boiled the feet of the chicken and the broth and that had more nutrition in it than any other part of the chicken. So we grew to be six feet ten and run a hundred yard dash in nine point nine point five. My help! When everything else has failed, I'm not gonna go no further. It's too late. My help! Look at somebody say, "My help!" A man of health, any money. But I came by to tell you, my help, the help that I have, will take weeds that grow on the side of the hill and build up my body. My help can take the hoofs off of a pig and heal my pneumonia while up in the big house they dying with everything available my help I will look to the hills from whence my help comes somebody help me say my help comes from the Lord my help I said my help. See, I wish missionary wasn't sick today. I'd love to help you. I'd love to help you preach this lesson. But my help don't come from the White House. My help don't come from the Black House. My help comes from the Lord that made heaven and earth. My help works 24 hours a day. My help. Somebody, my help come from the Lord. I may be by myself. I may have to walk alone. But I got my help. I may not have any money. But I got my help. I may not have a house that I own. But I got my help. You don't have to Could he tread water? <laughs> I'd have had problems if I'd have had to tread water and that plane went down. But we were flying and, and things were going good, and all of a sudden, uh, I like to sit at the window seat so I can look outside. And I would buy the plane engineering and fire shot out of this the engine of this plane and uh all of a sudden, the plane did a little rocking and all that kind of junk. And I said, Jesus! Jesus! And all of a sudden, the plane smoothed And the guy sitting next to me said, you, you believe in Jesus? I said, man, yeah, I've been using 
expect us playing that? What no use talking to the powers? Cause he ain't know what to do. But Jesus got the impossible answer. Jesus is the hope of glory. Jesus. Jesus is the answer for you and me. All we got to do is call on him. He will answer prayer. Look at somebody say, call on him. Y'all ain't excited enough yet. Look at somebody say, my help. Sister Gabby say, my help comes from the Lord. I made up my mind. Bless the Lord. Do it while you're young. Do it while you're young. Don't wait till you get up in your thirties like I did. Do it while you're young. I made up my mind. How many of your mind is made up? Don't tell somebody my mind is made up. Don't tell somebody say my mind is made up. Y'all got to sit out of this. Y'all won't stand up for nothing. Don't say my mind is made up. Bless the Lord. All times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Ah. I made up my mind. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. He knows Close my book. Do you like Jesus? When I'm hungry, do my slave counts. He is really bread. When I was weary, can they whip them from sun up to sunset? They said anyway, he's bread when I'm hungry, he's water when I'm thirsty, he's the bomb in Gilead. Can't nobody, can't nobody. Yes! I would finish this, but I ain't got time. But they came out from under slavery and didn't have anything. Somebody said they wanted to pull themselves up by their own shoelaces. But when you don't have no shoes, you have to just get up and get on out of there. But Jesus never fails. Jesus never falters. Can't nobody do you like the master? Can't nobody do you like the Lord? And, and, and now, I said, now, he's making us the head and not the tail. He's making us the biggest. He's making us the richest. He's making us the strongest. He'll make y'all the prettiest. Can't nobody. Can't get no help in you. Making you the smartest. Got your UCCS. You're already wondering how far you're gonna go. They're wondering if you're gonna get stuck on drugs. They already got a cell for you. But you done made up your mind. You ain't going down that road. Not only that, you're gonna help your brothers come up out of it. You done made up your mind that them A pluses you get there. It's not no accident. Those days are for real. I wish I had somebody to just help me close this. If I could speak in Spanish, I'd give it to you in Spanish. And I can speak a little Spanish. Yes, but I ain't gonna try it today. i make myself look bad. Find people that don't speak Spanish. Ain't no need of me speaking Greek. But nobody here understands it. I'm speaking like if I, go, if I want to speak English, I better talk how you can understand me. Hey, nobody. Jesus. 
sugar. Can't nobody. You can ain't get no prescription. Can't nobody. Do you like the Lord? All right. I mean, it's a little run around in here. I made up my mind. I will. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continue. Church hang for me, ain't got no jobs, no, I'm no raggedy cars. Making minimum wage. And here they talk about can't nobody do you like Jesus. They wish they did have what you got. They wish they could shout. I can joy when I think about it. The Lord has done for me. I just gave y'all a little short history of where we came from. And he brought me all the way from Africa to the United States, wiped out my culture, wiped out the memory of anybody I've thought about. And it kept me in bondage for 400 years. And here I am standing here with a $300 suit. And every vacation, money in my pocket, in for a year looking good, looking at beautiful women, still having babies. Men that have traveled all over the world, don't tell me God ain't with me. Look at somebody say, God is with me. God with me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sister Maria said, God, I know God with me. I'm going to say, He's healed my heart. All right now. Took all my tears away. Turn my midnight into day. Look, somebody said, I ain't even getting told. Father and I have traveled the world together. 
going to tell me I'm not Christ. I need you for a moment. came with like these little guys with me. Don't tell me I'm not blessed. Yeah. Send little Lewis to me. You stand right here. His dad ran the first Bible school in my church. His grandpa, sorry. You take the pictures, but it's okay. She was in the sunshine, man. Her mother was my first pastor's aide. Don't tell me I'm not blessed. Where's Sister Yvonne? Is she still here? Come, come stand with your pastor for a minute. I ain't gonna keep you over. She was in sunshine band. Her mother was one of the first members. They were members of Progressive before I number two before I was. Her mother. And she here and there, and her daughters here, and her little, little people, her grandkids are here. And tell me that I'm not blessed. Yeah. And it looked at the pulpit now. Don't tell me I'm not blessed. Point your finger at yourself and say, I know I'm blessed. Sister, Sister Ladonna, how long have you been in, been in this ministry? I'm here. 25, 30 years. 28 years. 20, how many? 28 years. If you're strong enough to bring you in, you and Major, come stand with me for a minute. Bring him with you. Don't let him down. He want my mic. Wait, how many years? Twenty-eight years. Don't tell me. We're not blessed. You've been. On the journey 28 years. Father brought you through this and taking you through that. Don't tell me you're not blessed. Look at somebody and say, I know we are blessed. Come on, say, I'm blessed. Say, I'm blessed right now. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed going in. Young people, you see, I'm blessed coming out. I know y'all. Come over here, Josh. Stand with me. I know folks like that. They think they shut down. I don't care about that. You can't shut God down. I'm always doing you. You don't know. Where's your mama? How old was he when y'all came to progress? You ever been a member of any of the church in me? I'm the only pastor. Oh my God. That's all right. He's ever had. His wife. There she is. Just walk this way if you don't mind. I'm trying to show y'all what God is doing. Oh, that's right. That's her grandfather. She wasn't even born. Wow. You ever been on any other ministry? I'm telling you, can't 
Can't you see what God's doing? He's building an army. Young men, you in the middle, you come to me. Your mother, your uncles, your folks ain't never been in another church under nobody except me. He's building. You go take your seat. You got to take your rightful place. That space is coming up. That's going to be empty. He sends people all the time to support missionary elders. Brother Blackwell. Sister Smith and others. He's building an army. Yes, sir. I ain't going no further. Y'all, y'all don't believe it. Look at somebody say, I'm rich, right? I'm waiting on my check. being made on your behalf right now. You got to be ready when the time comes for you to claim yours. I'm done for real. One more time. Look at somebody say, my help comes from the Lord that made heaven and earth. Give God a clap on me. Thank you.